closer look at what the president's plan means for the economy, for business, and the Hispanic community. Hector Barreto joined us, a former small business administrator under President George W. Bush. He's president of the Hispanic Business Roundtable. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. Your observations on the president's action last night. Well, look, I wish he would have done it a lot earlier. I wish he would have done it in the first couple of years that he was in office. You know, he, he talks about all these days. Well, we've waited six years for him to take some leadership here. He was very passionate yesterday, but at the end of the day, this isn't really going to solve the problem and in some ways make it much more difficult to get something passed through the new Congress. So, you know, I think it's a little bit too little, too late. I think people are, some people are celebrating, but I just think it stops well short of what we really need in the president's leadership. You know, it struck me when the president was talking last night when he said, uh, look, we, we, we want to encourage those people who are really illegal to come out of the shadows, to become part of the system, start paying taxes. I started to think about that, and I was thinking to myself, if you've got millions of people, you know, either operating under a different name or taking cash under the table, not paying taxes, is, you know, in a job where they're paid cash and they, they aren't seen. Do you think this is going to get them to see the light bulb and say, oh, I want to be part of the system. Let me just come out of the shadows and, 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 and stop taking the cash under the table and pay taxes. How many no. of them do you think are going to do that? Uh, a, a very few. Look, they know that this is so temporary. It's going to take months for this to actually even kick in. It's temporary. It can be changed. This is not legislation. This is not something that's going to motivate somebody to uh, buy something, buy a house, start a business, create a job. So, I, again, I just, you know, I see this as completely political. Uh, he didn't have to do it right now. He's poking an eye in the new Republican Congress. He says he wants to work with them on legislation. This is a terrible way to get started with this new Congress. Well, it certainly does poison the well, that's for sure, for business getting done with the two, with the two sides. Come January, as the former head of the Small Business Administration, what do, should small businesses be thinking about in the face of this order? Well, you know, I, I, we've talked about this many times in the past. Look, they want certainty. They want transparency. They want to know what decisions they need to make so they can make investments in the future. None of this helps them do that. And by the way, because of this poisonous atmosphere that you referenced, it could affect a lot of other things, too. Energy policy, the budget, trade, and many, many other things that small business needs to really create that environment for them to really jumpstart this economy. They are the engine of the economy. And right Right now, they're not seeing a lot of leadership. They still see a lot of headwinds coming out of Washington, D.C. Yeah, you were absolutely right. Hector Barreto, thank you very much for your insights. We appreciate it. We'll talk with you soon. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, sir. Central banks, meanwhile, a key theme for the markets today. That is the story of the.